Hello and welcome to Dragon Ball Madness Season 2. I am your host, The Shady Champ, and today we have Movie Boys versus The Fusions. You're a Saiyan? Man, you look exactly like Goku. Oh, I know now. I'm not sure what he meant by that, but, 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 this is the first match of round two of Dragon Ball Madness. Now, if you want to see how round one went, even though you can kind of tell who won some fights by now, hey, we have a bracket in the description. We also have a playlist in the description if you want to see the blow by blow to see just how powerful some of these teams are, or if they're just a curb stomp waiting to happen. But without further ado, we've got Turles versus Kefla, and they're going blow for blow. Oh, a super explosive wave. Ah, oh, that might be better for Kefla's favor. We're getting some charging up here. Turles gets a snack break. It doesn't really do too much for him outside of the buffs. I think it used to do a little more, maybe a little key, but uh, oh well. Turles making the most of it. He's out maneuvering Kefla now. Ooh, the slam attack doesn't work. Now we get some vanishes. We're gonna get a return to neutral at this rate. We do. Who's gonna shoot first? Okay. Now we get some fruit, but it does not work. Now Kefla's on him. No more snack breaks for Turles. Turles wins that vanish encounter. Dodging that. Nice. Kefla is still on the offense, though. A kill driver. It's point blank. It hits. Ooh, good dodge there. Nice, nice. Ooh. A perfect block from Kefla. But Turles wins the encounter. A super explosive wave. Not close enough. Kefla leaves in shame. Now we've got Turles versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And that's a whole different beast from Kefla. An ultimate impact following up. Yikes. Now you gotta remember, you gotta remember. Movie Boys are the returning champions. If they lose here, we're absolutely guaranteed a new champion. Turles knows this, and so as a result, he has transformed into a great ape. That's not the Bojack I selected. Okay. An ultimate impact, but it's a dash attack. It doesn't work. Mmm, good call, good call. Now we get a howl from Turles. We're getting a clash here. Mmm. Big hit from Ojita. This isn't the bar this isn't the project I chose. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to switch the game out. Mmm, good hit there. Wall since fails from Gogeta. Now a mouth beam from point blank. He gets hit by it. Movie Boy's back at it again. Okay. Perfect block. No, never mind. And then. Gogeta's able to hit Turles. Bojack, full powers here. I don't know why the game mixed me on that. I'm not, I'm not sure what was going on there. That's fine. Bojack does a dash attack on Gogeta. Gogeta is not amused, but Bojack is the last laugh. Okay. Gogeta charges up that smash attack enough, ignoring Bojack's block. Okay. Hmm. Lost the trip. Gogeta's gonna have a lot more fun with a character that can't become a giant. As opposed to, oh, we're getting a clash here. As opposed to a great eight. Gogeta wants to clash. Now he goes for an ultimate impact. It connects this time because Bojack ain't a giant. He's just swollen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not a lot of damage off that, so he leaves. Tries to regain some health, and now we get Gogeta here. More charging. Ooh. Gogeta takes the fight to Bojack. Ooh, big block here. Nope, getting dodged. Bojack wins that last lap. He buffs up his offense. That was just the charge in. Okay. Ooh. Bojack has given two Gogetas now a run for their money. 
can he run through the entire team? For the sake of the Fusion's careers, I certainly hope not. Okay, good kick there. Ooh. Mmm. Big counter there, but it sacrifices some of Bojack's health. Was it worth it? Maybe. Maybe it doesn't matter to Bojack. He's been running through the team so far. Gogeta wants to stop the bleeding here. He transforms into a Super Saiyan. Goes to full power. Oh, uh, it's gotten a lot more interesting now. Ooh. Okay, bless his Gogeta. Now we get some banishes. I think we're getting a return to neutral. Who's gonna shoot first? Both parties have max power. Momentum can change here. All right, max combo from Gogeta. Never mind, he gives up on it. A Galactic Tyrant versus a Soul Punisher. You get a clash. Oh. A return to neutral. Uh, that's a little anticlimactic, I'm not gonna lie. A Galactic Tyrant. No, Gogeta blocks it, okay. Mm, good dodge there. An energy wave followed. Bojack gets hit by that. A finish sign from Gogeta. He's ready to end this. Ooh, he's not really ending it. Somebody's gotta put a stop to Bojack. There are other monsters on the Movie Boys team. If they get stuck at Bojack, it's not looking too good. Mm, perfect block. All right, return to neutral. Gogeta can't afford to get hit by this. Okay, okay. And Gogeta leaves, tagging in. Go Tinks. Now at this rate, Bojack's gonna run through the entire team. Somebody's gotta put a stop to him. Is there still Slug, Cooler, and a full power Super Broly to work out? If Go Teams can't stop it here, and if Vegito can't go through the movie boys like Bojack just ran through the fusions, it's not looking good at all for the fusions' careers. Hmm, but that's what happens when you're fighting the former champs, man. You gotta take your game up a super notch. Hmm, get it there. A high speed rush? No, not quite, but. A straight key blast does hit Bojack. Lotinx is able to secure the job. Now we gotta see what Lord Slug has to offer. Lotinx is gonna have to put a whole lot of damage into Slug in a whole lot of time in order for Slug to not be able to turn giant and for that to not really be a factor if he does. Because if Slug turns into a giant, we've seen how people like to do dash attacks on giants, even though you really can't. Habits are hard to break here. Slug charges up. I think he's going for full power here. He does. He does. Boatings also goes to full power, dodging that. Going to a high speed rush. Slug hits him out of it. Now he gets a counter in. No, Boatings got a perfect black. Now we got a vanish exchange. And now we're returning to neutral. But Slug has full power. If he really wants to, he can set this on fire. Mmm, perfect block from Gotenks. Alright, now we're getting into a clash here. Gotenks wins the clash, a high speed rush, and Lord Slug blocks it. A false courage? No, it doesn't work out. Now we get into another clash. Gotenks wins that clash. We're getting closer and closer to a giant slug encounter. Mmm, now we get a clash. We're going to return to neutral. A darkness eye beam. Yikes. No, Gotenks blocks it. Good job, good job, good call. Oh, Lord Slug was that clash. Now he feels the moment. Never mind, Gotenks snaps him out of it. Powerful blow after powerful blow. Slug and Gotenks are the fight we want to see. I get to another clash. I think Slug, no, Gotenks wins that. I get a false courage from Gotenks. He wants the super armor. Then he charges up. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, now we get some good combos from Gotenks. Oh, oh. Whoa, not quite, not quite. Slug has the upper hand here. Ooh, ooh, Gotenks dodges it. Now he's got some offense of his own. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice combo here. Ah, Gotenks is ready to leave. 
and Slug transforms into a giant. Gotenks transforms into Super Saiyan 3. He needs to get out of there. And then a super explosive wave. I, I had a sinking feeling. It caught Gotenks in there. Ugh, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. But a giant slug is about to be the hugest problem for the fusions, no pun intended. Kefla couldn't even get to her full power. Blocks the low. Ooh. Blocks the high. A super explosive wave from Kefla. Great call, great call. It's not a dash attack. Now she gets some offense in. Mm, dodging that. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Kefla's taking out Lord Slug. It's looking pretty good. Mm hmm. Perfect block. Perfect block. Perfect block. And Kefla takes the momentum back into the fusion's favor. Movie boys do not have a giant to fall back on. But they do have a Broly and a Cooler. Looking pretty bad here. The gigantic war doesn't work out. Broly's trying to go to full power. Kefla does go to full power. She shoots a key blast and hits Broly. One hit will kill Kefla, and one hit does defeat Kefla. Now we've got Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4, of course, versus DBS Broly. A wild sense? No, not quite. All right, all right. Hmm. Denied a grab. Vanishing. Ooh. Now we get some vanishes going on. Nice, nice. We're turning to neutral, and now we got a Gogeta combo on our hands. Hmm. This ain't Bojack. Gogeta's absolutely trying to make Broly his lunch after the Bojack performance. Oh, oh, clash, clash. Broly wants to clash. He's charging up. No, Gogeta's stopping him. Sometimes you gotta get your mind right. He took a break. An ultimate impact, it hits Broly? I thought Broly blocked it, but apparently it hit at a weird angle. Mmm, get it there. Power up to the very limit. Gogeta's got max power on him. Broly cannot afford to get hit by that. Couple key blasts. More key blasts. A max combo. Broly can't stop getting hit by it. Oh no. Ah, Gogeta doesn't do his full power attack. An ultimate impact. Oh, he misses Broly. Ah, he got carried away, unfortunately. Another ultimate impact. Broly didn't get the grab off in time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now he switches out into Vegito. Broly is not doing too hot, but Broly's got to put on for his team. Nope, not quite. Vegito utterly dominating Broly in the same vein that Gogeta was. Broly's gotta get it together. He's gotta get a full power or something. An unstoppable rage. It fails. Vegito is not letting up. He wants his team to be a champion. And then there was Cooler. A death chaser. Okay, we get a clash here between Cooler and Vegito. Good kick, good kick. Another death chaser. No, denied. All right. Ooh, perfect block here. Ooh, good kick from Cooler. Ooh, perfect block there. Nice kick again. Okay, okay. We just got fight in him. Big punch here. Big kick there. Oh, whoa. All right. All right. And now a high tension from Vegito. Yikes. Ooh. Vanishing that. Vegito wins that exchange. He transforms. Super Vegito. You said it, bud. Now we get some charging up. Cooler's in a bad way. It's not impossible, but it is really, really hard. Vegito came to play. I don't know that Cooler did necessarily. Get hit there. 
Ooh. A paralysis in this his scatter finger beam connects. Shooting some key blasts out at Vegito. Denies the grab. Oop. Perfect block from Kula. Vanish exchange. Oh, we return to neutral. One more vanish, and Kula would have had the hit. Okay, okay. Oop. No, not quite. Vegito does his key attack thing. Now we get into another clash. Who's winning this? Vegito does. Every hit Vegito lands on Cooler is a hit Cooler cannot afford. Not with the gauntlet that Cooler has to run. Mmm, gut punch. Mmm, slam. Cooler charges up more. A death beam. No, it misses. Vegito does a finish sign. Okay, okay. Perfect block from Vegeta. It's not looking good for the fusions. I think each fusion has one bar of health each. Which means the health is about the same between Cooler and the three fusions remaining. Mm. Okay. Cooler has two health bars left. The lead is in the fusion's favor. If Vegito can capitalize. A finger scatter beam? It hits! Oh, cool is in a super bad way. Gogeta, regular Super Saiyan, has been chosen to end this for the fusions. Can Cooler stop their dreams? No victory laps, no getting the second string and the court. A big big Kamehameha is point Blake for a second, for a split second. Cooler accepted his fate and told the movie boys we're not making it to the top four. And as a result, the fusions were able to clinch the win and move on further than they had made in the last tournament. With the movie boys out, this means that we have the guarantee of a new champion of Dragon Ball Madness. And the fusions made a strong argument for it, but we have a whole lot of other really strong competitors to see. So to see who you should put your money behind, tune in tomorrow, the day after that, and the day after that for the rest of March to see who will win Dragon Ball Madness Season 2, the Black Star Tournament.